Right now, I'm in the Florida woods at night, looking for some of the coolest creatures that creep among these forests after nightfall. All right, so the last couple nights I've been completely rained out, haven't been able to explore here at night. But now, it's a nice dry night. I'm gonna get out and try to find some really cool nocturnal Florida wildlife. All right, here's something cool. Yes, Katie did. All right, look at that. Some kind of Katie did. I'll have to look it up to see what species. But they're all really cool looking. Most species here are gonna be some shade of green, maybe brown to blend in with their habitat. And they're a pretty arboreal species, so they're hiding in trees. This one was kind of low down in the, in the undergrowth, so lucky to find them. I should say lucky to find her, because you can see that sword-shaped object coming off her abdomen. That's an ovidepositor. The ovidepositor is what the female uses to lay her eggs on the leaves and sticks, where she hopes they'll be out of reach of potential predators. I'm pretty sure that's a whippoorwill. But oh, look what I just found. This is a stick insect. It's actually a male and a female. So I'm going to put them in a jar and then look at them tomorrow in the daylight. Look how cool that is. All right, now I'm in a better spot to film. It's daytime. Let's get her out. This crazy looking insect is a southern two striped walking stick. I got her on my hand. Let's see if I can move around. That is so awesome. This is my first time seeing one, so it's always neat to be able to see such a cool animal like this for the first time. Now you see the male is riding on her back, and he'll do that for almost his entire life. He's much smaller than her, and being on her back in terms of he always has access to a mate. It also helps him cons you know, conserve energy. Now they have two defenses. They're not very fast, so they can't run away from any predators, but First of all, they're super camouflaged. Those stripes help to break up their silhouette, and their bodies are made of different shades of brown, so they blend in pretty well with their environment. But if they are spotted, and if a predator sees them, they have another very toxic defense. They have glands on their thoraxes that they can squirt a poison out of. And that is supposed to hurt, if it get, that, if they can squirt it pretty accurately. If it gets in your eyes or your mouth, supposedly it hurts. It's pretty nasty, and I've heard that effects can last for up to a week after the actual contact with the toxin. I don't want that in my eyes, so I'm keeping her... They can have about a foot of range, so I'm keeping her away from my face so that doesn't happen. See how they wave those antennae around? They're just sticking straight up in the air. Like most insects, it's one of the main ways they find their way around their environment. You they use it to pick up all kinds of cues to lead them toward food. Now the females are pretty big insects, as you can see. Uh, she's got to be a couple inches long at least. The males don't get as big as that. That's about as big as males can be. But yeah, the females are good sized. These insects are really awesome invertebrates and one of the many cool critters you can find out here in Florida. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time on Skidaway Island Wildlife.